Is a new spooky flick about to change the horror game? Early reviews and an endorsement from a master of the genre suggest it just might. Just when it feels like the found footage horror genre has run out of steam, some upstart filmmakers arrive with a bold new variation on the concept. And according to the critics who saw Late Night with the Devil at the 2023 South by Southwest Film Festival, Australian directors Cameron and Colin Cairns have done just that. It is kind of in a way our, you know, a, a, a twisted love letter, you might say, to, to late night talk shows. The movie claims to be a master tape of a fictional late night talk show called Night Owls with Jack Delroy. On one particular episode that supposedly aired on Halloween night in 1977, Delroy, played by David Desmalchin, is desperate to juice his sagging ratings. So he brings on parapsychologist Dr. June Ross Mitchell to promote her book about satanic cults. Appearing alongside her is a girl named Lily, who's the only survivor of a mass suicide that was caused by demonic hysteria. Delroy is hoping for a sensationally spooky evening that will transform his show into must-watch TV, but he ends up getting much more than he bargained for, as do the folks watching at home. According to an enthusiastic review from Slash Film's own Jacob Hall, Late Night with the Devil makes all those bad found footage horror movies you suffer through worth it because it means you found this one. The early buzz suggests that you should go into this movie as cold as possible. So if your attention is piqued, avoid any additional details as this is a wildly inventive flick that delivers the scares and the surprises in a big, big way. And the raves are coming from everywhere, as Late Night with the Devil is currently boasting a 100% score on Rotten Tomatoes with over 40 reviews. And it's not just professional critics who have been bowled over. It's such a compelling, terrifying, fascinating, nuanced story. Thanks, David. That's it's good to hear. In March 2023, someone connected with the film decided to slip a screener copy to Stephen King. The legendary author of classic scary novels like Carrie, It, and The Shining is also an enthusiastic promoter of rising horror stars. And he went gaga for Late Night with the Devil, as he declared, It's absolutely brilliant. I couldn't take my eyes off it. Your results may vary, as they say, but I urge you to watch it when you can. There are only a handful of living people whose appreciation for a new horror movie can feel like a gift from the cinema gods to up-and-coming directors. Receiving the blessing of such an iconic horror writer certainly means something. Whoever showed Late Night with the Devil to King should probably screen it for John Carpenter next so that it can get as many ringing endorsements from living horror legends as possible. So when will horror hounds who couldn't make it to South by Southwest be able to watch Late Night with the Devil? As it turns out, the wait won't be very long, as it's slated for a limited theatrical release beginning on March 22nd. After that, it's set to stream on Shutter beginning on April 19th. While this is a movie that can absolutely be enjoyed on the big screen with a crowd, don't fret if you can't make it to the theater. The very nature of the film's premise, after all, is that you're watching a long-lost tape of a forgotten 70s TV show where things went terribly wrong, so it would actually be kind of appropriate if you watch it in your living room. On the big screen, it's a horror movie, but in a darkened house illuminated by just the flicker of the TV, it's a scarily convincing illusion. Even with a familiar face like Dust Malchin in the lead role, the authentic touches and convincing details might trick you into thinking that this all actually happened. For maximum chills, try a double feature with Ghost Watch, the 1992 British TV movie that feels like the spiritual predecessor to Late Night with the Devil. Both movies revolve around the same magic trick, as they slow burn their way to making you forget that you're not watching an actual TV show.